Hello everybody, how are we all doing? This is a new angle for me. Well, talking to you all, it seems a little bit weird with me and Ved and the screen is just literally on the thing. It's a thing that I just ordered and it's lazy because, you know, hands free. So yeah, and it's just literally off of my bed, like my whatever. This thing is with the, uh, with the, uh, whatchamacallit thing. And it's a little bit shaky, I apologize. But, um, in this video, what am I trying to say here? Am I talking about music? No. Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, this is just a simple video to say, but two words. I'm tired. No, I'm not tired because I'm in bed and I have my pajamas on. Don't judge the onesies, okay? Snoopy is good. He's, like, amazing. You know, you all talk about, oh, he's the goat. Not specifically Snoopy, but other people or things in general saying, oh, goat, he's goat or whatever. But this video... Or in this video, I am going to talk about I'm tired meaning of something else. Okay. So, what does it mean? What do I mean? Well, to put it simply, I say I'm tired of this. Of the fact that in this nowadays world, we live in where jobs are always a thing to keep the bills going, which is fine. I'm totally okay with that. I'm not tired of that. But what I am tired of is always going home after a good long day's work or helping out a neighbor and then feeling proud of myself. But then coming home and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just feel a slight bit of emptiness and all along I know that you know there's been times where people have had roommates to pay the bills because they couldn't pay it fully and it's nice because it's not the sign of being alone and you know roommates are not saying that you're in relationships with them even though, I don't know. I'm just saying, roommates can't always be relationships, but they can be friends, paying the bills, enjoying each other's company. Kind of like relationships, but not really. That's a side thing. But with relationships, I always find it tiring to see that for a lot of guys out there, not me particularly, because I've never been a part of relationships whatsoever, but guys out there, for some, tend to eventually move on. They have this long relationship going, okay? They think, this is wonderful, let's take some memory moments in our lives, take some pictures, Put it as a profile picture on Facebook and see how it goes. Give the likes, the laughs, the loves, the comments, etc. And build those memories as we go along throughout the years. But the problem with that is nowadays social media. Particularly for one, TikTok. Now we all know that there's TikTok videos out there. They're like, oh, ha ha, so funny, so cringy. Like, why am I watching this? I should just delete the app, right? It just makes sense. But even though it might make sense for some, for others, they keep on going with it. Because there's other things than just, you know, bad taste of videos on TikTok. However, when it comes to relationships, they figure, hey, why don't we make a TikTok uh, channel of our relationships and stuff like that. Make it all silly, funny, corny, cringy, 
all that good stuff. And we always think at the back of our heads, even though we don't expect it, just like, okay, maybe one of these days he's going to say something or she's going to say something the wrong way. And it's going to be like, okay, it's good while it lasted, but this relationship is over. Okay, over. Because we might have said something that might have offended someone by the slip of our tongue. Because sometimes it can slip out. And we don't mean it. But it happens a lot, sometimes, depending on what we tend to say. But for me, not ever having a relationship, I always, as a child, I had this one time where I was like thinking to myself, man, there's this girl. She, her name, you know, is, well, it doesn't really matter if I say it, but Timberland. Okay, her name was Timberland. We had a fun time as kids and my other friend way back when was named Daniel. We would have these debates of who would marry Timberland. We would say, oh, I'm going to marry her. No, I am. Why? You got Bionicle collections and you got Trent, like you're into Star Wars and whatever because he was into Bionicles and Star Wars for some reason. He had this whole TV in his room. He had Lego sets, whatever. And, but we were kids and it was fun. And it was funny, maybe. But there would be times we'd go up to him as a kid, or not him, but her, Timberland as such. And I would sometimes see her crying on the side of the hill or something, because our background of after recess and stuff, we would have this backyard where it's filled with fields and then Dan had a downhill thing where it went into people's houses and stuff it was amazing but we just every time we went down the hill because that was like the best part of the whole landscape but one day I was looking for Timberland and she was crying and I asked well I once go there why are you crying? And, you know, she had some things going on maybe with her parents or something. And I was the one that just wanted to help and help her. And because it was right, I thought, for me to help somebody out, even if they were having a tr troubling time. And, you know, what have you. But I always seen myself as somebody that wouldn't mind going into a relationship, but we but I always had a hard time going and figuring out how it all starts. I would always ask my dad, hey, how did you get mom? You know, all these things as kids or teens or curious people would be when they're younger. Before they, you know, age and get all old and stuff like that. And nowadays it's just like, be yourself, all this stuff. But... Now with social media in the mix, there's just so much DMing and there's so much things going around that why we even bother with this whole thing? I mean, if I sent a text to a girl and she wants a relationship or she's looking for a relationship, but because I'm so darn kind and nice and generous or what have you, it's always about, oh, let's just be friends because you're so kind. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Oh, you make my day. But the thing is, yeah, friendship part, not relationship, but friendship. And that's the part where I'm always like, okay, I'll go out dancing for people to see or I'd make music or I'd go to my jobs or anything like that. And at the end of the day, I'm home alone, as always. Even in the apartment and in the rental house. And while I was waiting for this house, while being in a hotel room. And I also had to be missed out on New Year's because I had no one on New Year's. And there was these people outside of the hotel. And I'm like, hey, can I tell you guys? Hey, why not? And then I started playing music that I made. It's just like, oh... You know, hell no, get that stuff out of there, you know. They didn't want any part of it. So I was just like, okay, so I went back to my room and that was that. I had, like, 
And that's the thing with even New Year's. You also feel double alone because there's times where, oh, why can't I just spend time with, you know, a girl? You know, there's these things nowadays where you can actually pay for, to see how it goes for a girlfriend. Like you could actually pay a girl to be your girlfriend or to pay a girl to be your mom or something. It's weird stuff, okay? It's weird. But I would never want to pay for a girlfriend. I would never want to pay for a mom because it's so, like, why? Why in the world? But I would hopefully someday, again, sorry for the shakiness of the camera because this is all new, but um, I would like to hope that one day in my time, before I die, which hopefully will be a long time, is that this. I know I'm much of a kind of a popular person when it comes to this small town in particularly, but a lot of people know me. But the one thing I want or would like to have, or one day, would be a relationship. See how it goes. A lot of guys say, oh no, I'm so glad I've been back to single. The single life, I'm so happy to be back. Oh, this feels so good. I could watch my own stuff with anybody bothering me that a girl or somebody would say, hey, why don't you drop that come outside? In, I'm having my family over. Because then, you know, with relationships, they're always trying to be busy and build memory and stuff like that. Save up for a vacation. Go wild. Okay. But the thing is, I've never been a part of those things. Okay. I might have seen some crazy things in my day, but I have never been in a relationship even though I would love to one day. And I think I would be pretty good at it. I'm a very humble, generous, kind, loving person. And there could be more to add on to that, but that's all I can think of on the top of my head at the moment. But just hear me out. This stuff... I've been going through for 25 years now that I'm 25. Yes, I've talked about me being a virgin. Yes, I talk about how on this channel I've never held hands with a girl, never kissed a girl on the lips or anything like that. No, I'm not a germaphobe. No, I'm not gay. No, 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 no. But I want to be in a relationship that would do well and i know it would be well but even the dating apps okay let me tell you something about the dating apps the dating apps is just it's it's pointless really it's just like i've recently been on a mingle trying to talk to people they just do a couple seconds and boom they're gone it's just like what i was just trying to talk to you i say hey how you doing and then they just hang up. Like, what? How rude. How rude is Omingo? I don't even get it. Why am I even talking about... The thing is, I think that dating apps... Uh, oh, it takes time to find the right person. And you're, for me as a Christian, I'm like praying every day for something to happen. And one day, I know, as everybody would say, oh, just keep on praying. Luck will go your way. Everything will be fine. You just wait. You're still young. Wait. Have fun. Enjoy the single life. Let me tell you something again. I've been single for 25 years. Okay. Maybe part of that 25 years has been a kid and been around family. But after that, I have been around nobody when it comes to my own home. And even before that... After owning a house to renting. And even then, I wasn't particular into the whole idea of 
roommates, okay? Because I knew I could possibly manage on my own by working hard, and I did just that. But the thing is, I have so much stuff now that you could buy stuff, and you think it makes you happy, but it doesn't. It doesn't fulfill the happiness part, and that's why, again, as in the title or description, I'm tired. I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm tired of why I do these constant things. And at the end of the day, it's just quietness. It's just me, my house, and that's it. Nobody but me. And that's as far as it gets. So, yeah, it's just crazy to say the least. But I hope one day soon down the road, I will find or somebody will find me in a relationship because that's what I want to see because I think I'm ready for it. I've been, I feel like I've been preparing. I'm always funny and stuff. People, girls like it when guys are funny, maybe. I don't know, but I'm willing to like, commit to something like this because I'm just tired of this lifestyle and I'm just disappointed in like how guys are some days where it's just like oh yeah it's the end of the ropes you know we had a long run and stuff like that and then it's over it messes up girls heads and stuff like that and I hate that I really do because I don't get it at all in the slightest like, why would you break a girl's heart for something to be single about? It's, it just doesn't make any sense. I wish that things could be like how it is in the old days. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, back then, guys had to be the ones to go to work and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, they would always come home, see their wives, talk, have fun, coffee, etc., Next day would come, same old, same old, but at least that guy had someone to look forward to when he came home. Me? I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy that goes to work, comes home, and somebody's waiting for me. Because if that's the case, I would be happy. I wouldn't mind that. But it just sucks because I'm still here. I'm still working but I'm still coming home to nobody okay I just don't know what else to say it just drives me absolutely crazy because it's true but anyways it's been nice talking to you all but I will have to say I'll have to go but just hear me out on this whole thing because I really would like to see some changes hopefully soon sooner rather than later okay I just hope to see some changes that's all I'm gonna say okay it's a wrap okay it's a wrap anyways it's been your boy Jaguar Raves and I'll see you all in the next one Till then, peace out and goodbye for now.